in this quick video guide we're gonna see how we can set up a really important and helpful tool which is called can transform and for blender 3.0 and after now of course you have to have blender installed to, in order to use this add-on or any add-on this one here in particular is to work with more precision in uh, blender so you you're gonna have extra help to work with uh, uh, movements and rotation and scale so transformations and you can see here we have different version you have also other information on the web but you, if you want to get it if you want to download and install this uh, well it's actually free add-on so you can get it for free or you can also donate so search for can't transform add-on go to the first result right here and you will see kind of an, an introduction and here you have like ratings and some more information so you can see you can use it for blender 3.0 or late or later and um it, it can work with the 3d objects and curves and uh, you have a lot of snaps you can use constraints and so on so uh how you can get it well you have the option you can set up a price here you can say okay i want to donate one euro or I want to donate three euros or I want to say zero because I don't have any money and you can click here and just uh, get it by clicking on this button you will access um, a precise page which is this one here and you're gonna also gonna have a mail uh, with the receipt of what you have donated and then here you can choose which version you can download so again you have other uh, information here your receipt and and, and etc so i'm using this one here which is for blender 3.3 and later so i'm gonna click on download and this is gonna download it in the downloads folder by default so uh, that's where i'm gonna find it so i'm gonna close this um browser window and here i am in blender so this is 3.4.1 at the moment and i'm gonna go for the general so I'm going to have the default cube here, the default scene. And so all I need to do now to activate it, you can see it's already activated, but the first time you need to go to edit preferences, add-ons, you need to click on install, navigate into your downloads folder, select the zip file, which is this one here, SLK transform, and then you say, okay, install, click on install. And when it's finished, you should find it right here in the add-ons. So you can see right now it's also activated, but make sure that this checkbox is turned on. Otherwise, it's not going to be um, available. And if you click on this little arrow, you have a lot of other um, information. You can see here the, the author and you have the... Uh, the settings for the, the colors and you also have all these shortcut keys that you can set up so you can see the snaps the constraints and you have the options and so on so you want to have a look at that and if you want you can customize it now you saw that the button is right here so if you click on this you will access the various snaps and the functions of the add-on and you can see we can use the G, R and S which are already shortcut keys in Blender but now they will behave differently and also if you press N you're gonna open up this uh, right side panel or if you click and drag on this little arrow and if you go in the tool section you will find here again the transform the cut transform tool with all the different settings and buttons and here you have all the shortcuts you need so for example in standard blender when you do a move a standard move or you you press the g key you can like move the cube around but it doesn't have any uh, constraints or any indications so let's press ask to exit so when i i am in the card transform instead if i press g you're gonna see that a little circle will appear a little orange circle that's the snap to the vertices kind of the standard snap so if i press ask again i'm gonna exit this let's add another 
mesh. So I'm gonna go to add mesh, add a simple cube. Now they are overlapping, so I'm just gonna move it with a standard movement. And you have constraints also here because if you press on the arrows in Stardust um, application, you will see that it's gonna move only on the X, Epsilon, and Z. You can also press Epsilon when you move it to move it only in the Epsilon. And this works also with the Count Transform. Now let's say that I wanna use Count Transform instead to work with more precision. So I click here press G and you can see it's not moving, but it's telling me, it's asking me where I want to move it from which vertex I want to use for this movement. So let's say that I want to use this one here. So I click and you can see also a ruler appears. So this is a precise movement. It's giving me the precise measure, which is about three meters and 40 centimeters. And you can see it's snapping right away to the other vertices. So this is really handy to have fast and precise movement of that object. Now, you can also use rotate. So in this case, again, it's asking you the axis of rotation. So you can see now that I can press like Z. You can see there it's just uh, fixed the Z. And then you can see I can rotate around that axis. Now let's also do an example with S or scale. You can see that's the starting point of the scale. This will be the other reference point and then I can click and drag and you can see it's constraining the scaling on the X and it's also giving me the new measurement so it's really really handy and useful. So this will be all for this video guide. If you like it please subscribe and you can so stay updated with other video courses and video guides in our channel. Also please if you want to support us you can join the channel as a supporter. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.